So where are you? Cunin. In the middle of the Cunin River. Cunin River. Without an engine. Yeah. Stop worrying about it. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. No, you just hang on to the boat. Calm down. There's nothing you can do. Babe. Babe. If you end up in the river, just get on that sandbank. Okay? Okay? Just don't panic. Saved, did you say? Hello and welcome to Serakafima, uh, day two of our stay at Serakafima. And it's been eventful. Uh, we'll do last night first. Uh, we had a good day yesterday. Um, we went a walk up the dunes behind you. And then we came back, uh, got ready for dinner, and went to dinner. Um, but Jacqueline wasn't feeling terribly well. She 
are still very knackered, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think I had a bit of too much sun when we visited the Himba in the morning and then during the walk I felt a bit not so great and then when we came for dinner the smell of the food well, turned to my stomach. She basically didn't eat anything. I had a little bit of venison carpaccio. Yeah. And then I had a little piece of maybe about that size of pork medallion, which was actually quite tasty. Oh, well, nice and soft. Nice and soft. Um, I had one piece of potato rosti and that was it. She couldn't even have her dessert B52 cheesecake. But I had some. But I had to eat it very quickly because um, young Jacqueline here was getting worse by me. So had dessert, rushed back to the room basically, uh, and just as we arrived at the room... However, prior to that I should mention that one of the waitresses came over and said that we weren't looking particularly happy and was everything okay, to which I replied, well, not quite, I wasn't feeling well. She went away and came back with the house person he said, did we need to get Medi back in for somebody? And I was like, no, no, it's not that bad. Um, and then, yes. Having, the having said that, Medi back might have come in handy a few moments later as we approach the room. <laughs> um, projectile vomiting began <laughs> over the side of the walkway. I'd like to say that louder for the microphone. Anyway, as she was saying, five star luxury accommodation and she's puking over the banister. I've left my mark. Anyway, um, that made her feel better and we both got a reasonable night's sleep. So we got up this morning and went for breakfast. The other couple that had arrived yesterday were at breakfast. They don't do breakfast. They just do brunch. Um, and we then prepared to go on a boat trip up the Kunin River. And it was good. We went up, we saw a Goliath heron. Um, some baboons, a small crocodile, and then we came across a large crocodile which must have been close to four metres in length. Um, so it was all going fine. We got up as far as the boat normally goes um, and it turned to come back and the guy just stalled the engine I think um, and couldn't restart it. Oops. So then ensued about what, an hour of trying to get us out of a sticky situation. Everybody on board lending a hand. Um, Jacqueline shouting help, the top of her voice screaming. Um, but eventually we got work to another camp. They came up first of all with a sort of rescue boat and then our own camp sent up the second boat they have and we're all back fine but it was um, eventful so we came back 
they asked us when we wanted lunch, we said 1.30 and we came back to the room and we found this. So lunch is on the veranda. Lunch is half an hour away on the veranda.
think it's the one which brought down the tree. Because he's the one which brought down the tree. Say, so stay away from this. It's mm, mine. It's mine. <laughs> Then comes a different guy. Giraffes too, but they're very 